Before the energy crisis, very little technical attention was given to dryer venting. The results are obvious to the tradesmen who clean the dryer ducts for a living and to the firemen that extinguish over 15,000 fires a year where the dryer was the guilty party. The elbow that ended up becoming the standard L used in dryer venting actually creates the equivalent friction loss of 15 feet of straight pipe. The new, long-turn elbows becoming popular in today's construction exhibits friction loss equal to only two and a half feet of straight pipe. That's an approximate 500 percent improvement in efficiency based on a UL fact-finding report. Today one of those restrictive elbows is replaced with a dryer box in one out of three new homes. This simple receptacle safely stores the recoiled flex transition hose in the cell of the wall in lieu of the mess of flex we are used to seeing on the floor behind the dryer. Dryer manufacturers have gone through great strides in R&D in providing a safe and energy efficient dryer. And these new dryers are impressive. But exhaust terminations vary tremendously in design and effectiveness in offering minimal restriction to airflow. No standards or protocols are in place or in the works that deal with the dryer exhaust terminations or vent hoods. Values of total loss measured in water column inches of pressure are as high as 0 0.42 inches in some popular terminations, approximately three times higher than an industry self-assumed rule of thumb for terminations. To develop a protocol and standard, it's likely we'll need to first validate that a large percentage of dryer vent terminations are extremely inefficient and themselves create the bottleneck and the resulting back pressure. For the technicians in this field, it should be a known fact that this dryer exhaust back pressure allows the airborne lint particles to slow down in velocity and attach themselves to the interior of the wall. The resulting buildup thus becomes a fire hazard and causes the dryer to run longer, ultimately wasting energy. Many in the dryer venting industry believe it's time that a standard be created and set in place for manufacturers of dryer vent terminations to meet or that the International Code Council adopt a code change that addresses the use of dryer vent hoods that meet a particular standard.